hacking tools that you need for 2024 that will basically save you time, money, and whatever you can really think of. It will save you a lot of sanity. You just need these tools. That's it. Now, just one special mention I want to say is that you should sort of look for a, an external firewall in your network. Your ISP router is not very secure. Therefore, one important tool or one important feature I can suggest is installing a, an external firewall. And on that external firewall, either install Sophos, Snort, or Suricata, or something on their alternative. I know that PFSense is pretty popular. You can install whatever you want. I'm just suggesting because that would be very, very cool for your home security. Also, Bills basically gives you some login and also is pretty good to have something, right? You can also play around with, right? I'll be producing some firewall security and firewall content pretty soon, as soon as I obtain a firewall myself. Now, another great tool which I found ages ago was is called Villain. Now, Villain, it basically is, is used in bypassing security, bypassing firewalls. So what I can do, I can bypass Windows, I can bypass Linux security, and it can basically give you a remote shell. Sort of like Metasploit console or MSF console, but a bit, a bit different, right? The purpose of that is to bypass firewalls. And I would say it's one of the best tools because it's very, very simple to use, very, very simple to create payloads. I've also made a video on this. So if you'd be interested in watching a video, make sure to watch my video. It should be on the screen right now. And check it for yourself. Just make sure to have a virtual machine ready to, to get it running. Now, just two very, very important tools. They're not very unique, I would say, because everyone knows they exist. But however, I would say they're very, very important in your tool set. And they are called basically John the Ripper and Hashcare. Hashka is basically used in password hash cracking and John the Ripper is usually used in basically password cracking, for example, like any zip files or any PDF files or anything that's sort of pa password file protected. What you can use is you can use John the Ripper to crack the password and then basically access the files or directories or whatever you're looking for, right? So these are two very, very brilliant tools and I think everyone should basically use them because they're open source, we should use them, right? They're, they're great and I really, really love these tools. I use them as much as I can and whenever I can. Now, another great tool I want to share with you guys is Dirt Search and GoBuster. I use these tools all the time and to be honest, these are the two things I don't really need more than that, right? Basically, what they do is GoBuster and Dirt Search, they are two tools for directory busting, file busting, and really whatever you can think of in terms of looking for files in a website structure. So basically what you can do is run a word list and you can look for a certain file or a certain extension. And something I love about these file, these programs is that they really never fail you. If you're, whatever you're looking for, they will find it for you, right? And they'll basically, they will shoot. It's very, very easy to use them. They also basically make everything easy. And if you need any help, you can always go on YouTube or internet and find whatever you're looking for very, very easily. So that's why I love simplicity. Now, obviously, the next tool I'm going to recommend and highly you need to use this and learn it is Nmap. Nmap is a very, very powerful tool from basically spoofing packets to spoofing IP addresses and or the source IP address to much, much more function. It also allows you to test your IDSs and IPSs, which is obviously coming back to point one. If you have your firewall in place, you can test it out, right? So. Nmap is one of the best tools. Also, basically, as you may not know, it's a reconnaissance tool. Allows you to scan a certain host or a network for vulnerabilities. Also allows you to load scripts and much, much more. You should definitely check it out. Now, a very, very important tool is basically proxy chains or Kali QMI or whatever you really want to come up with. It's basically some sort of anonymization. Now, this is very important because in certain cases, you should use Obviously, anonymization, that also anonymization could be useful for testing your IDSs and IPSs, right? Going back to, I think, point one, firewalls. You can test your firewalls, how do they respond to the basically malicious traffic or the malicious IP addresses and more. Also, proxy chains also, also protect you if you make a mistake and maybe you're not supposed to make a mistake, then it could protect you from moving your habitat to... Um, a more sort of closed habitat called the state county jail. Um, if you know what I mean, obviously, right? So just to protect yourself, you should use anonymization tools to just so you don't get in trouble. Now, I'm not promoting illegal activities. I'm just making just making sure that you don't get in trouble while you're learning stuff, right? Because we all want to learn stuff. 
But obviously, please don't commit any crimes. Just be safe out there. Now, on the screen right now, what you should have is my other playlist. If you want to learn ethical hacking for absolutely free, don't forget to check out my hacking courses. Also, if you want to learn hacking the fastest way and basically the fastest way and possibly make some money on the way, don't forget to check out my hacking course, which will be in the description below. Maybe there's a discount running. I'm not sure because discounts are sort of on and off all the time. So I'm not really sure because they're um, like off and on, off and on. So I'm not really managing to keep up with the discounts.